We're in the Steel City, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. This game matches the Brewers and the Pirates. Let's get to the batter's box for today's first pitch. You guys should probably already know how much I love baseball, including the very over-the-top action of the MLB Slugfest games. I loved how the game took a relatively non-contact sport and turned it into an absolute hit fest. And the game I have to review here took this concept and eliminated some aspects of it while enhancing others. What we got feels a little less like Slugfest and a little more like baseball with super steroids and incredible fielders. In fact, this game is even better than the aforementioned title. This is The Bigs for the Xbox 360. Oh, just missed it. Wilson is there in time and has himself a single. The Bigs features a few modes to choose from, most of which are what you'd expect in a baseball game. I'm talking about the play now, exhibition, home run derby, you get the idea. And from that aspect, this isn't that out of the ordinary for a baseball game. I'm actually glad that the developers remember that making a good arcade baseball game still requires having the same format for a game, it just has to be enhanced. However, there is a home run pinball mode that fits perfectly with the zany action of the Bigs and it's a lot of fun. The mode requires you to hit baseballs into all different sections of Times Square to get more points, allowing for extra balls like in a real game of pinball that might knock out the pitcher. I liked it a lot more than I expected to. Controls in the bigs are very arcadey. Batters have a choice between tapping two different buttons for a contact or power swing, and pitchers just pick a pitch and try to get the meter to reach the top for a perfect pitch. Both sides of the diamond rely on timing and timing only. This is before that right stick craze that most baseball games have today. But this allows for a really fun and quick moving game of baseball. If the pitcher makes a mistake, the spot where the ball is going to end up is marked for the batter, allowing for lots of big hits. But if the pitcher times it perfectly, the ball becomes almost unhittable. If the batters start hitting a certain kind of pitch over and over, however, it can actually decrease in effectiveness until it becomes completely unavailable. Like the Slugfest games, the Bigs does use a turbo meter to allow for some crazy plays. Batters can use this ability to put some extra force behind the ball, while pitchers use it to get out of jams and get the final strike in an inning. One really fun thing to do is activate your batter's turbo at the same time the pitcher does, effectively evening the playing field for the pitch. There are also special moments that prompt you to pull both triggers for what is basically an instant home run, completely changing the momentum of the game. I was slightly disappointed with how base runners controlled though. It's really my only gripe, but it felt a little stiff and it was out of place in an otherwise very smooth experience. The thing I really appreciate about the bigs is that it doesn't change the game in an effort to make things seem crazier and wilder. Instead, it just enhances the best parts of baseball so they can work perfectly in a video game. Even the features of characters, animations, and sound effects are perfect for it. Does this mean that baseball simulators like the show series are meaningless? Of course not, but that doesn't mean that fans of those games won't have a blast with the bigs. Duncan clobbers it. 